Hello students. Good morning to you all. Once again you all are welcome in Alpna's biology class. Today I am here for the board examinees once again with the important question and answer of the chapter life processes and topic is respiration. Nutrition we have already covered. It's a kind of revision. It's a kind of revision in in, in this video you are going to know what kind of questions may be asked and how to reply so let's start this topic and what is this topic respiration if you wish to see all my videos from class 7 to 10 then please subscribe this channel and go for playlist chapter wise videos are given respiration what do we mean by respiration obtaining energy and eliminating toxic substances in the form of CO2. During respiration, we obtain energy by the oxidation of food in the presence of oxygen and elimination of CO2 through lungs. This is called respiration. This process is what known as respiration. This respiration is of two types and this type is aerobic and anaerobic aerobic and anaerobic if i tell you or if you are, if i define you separately so it will take time so why not to go for differentiation it will become easy for you to solve lots of questions at a time ye aerobic respiration kya hai aur anaerobic respiration kya hai actually respiration ko do bhag mein divide kiya gaya hai on the basis of the availability of oxygen so when we respire in the presence of oxygen, it is called aerobic respiration. And in the absence of oxygen, what do we say? We say anaerobic respiration. This is aerobic and this is in the absence, this is what called anaerobic respiration. It occurs, it occurs in cytoplasm. It occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria. Ye jo hai cytoplasm mein hota hai aur mitochondria mein hota hai. है ना तो साइटोप्लाज्म में जो होता है उस प्रोसेस को हम ग्लाइकोलिसिस कहते हैं और जो माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया में होता है उस प्रोसेस को हम क्रेप साइकिल कहते हैं इट मींस कि एरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन गोस थ्रू बोथ द साइकिल्स दैट इज ग्लाइकोलिसिस एंड क्रेप साइकिल बट व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट एनोरोबिक रेस्पिरेशन हियर इट टेक्स प्लेस ओनली इन साइटोप्लाज्म ओनली इन साइटोप्लाज्म in aerobic respiration glucose gets broken completely and in anaerobic respiration break, uh, glucose incompletely gets broken it is not broken completely incompletely it is broken it provides us 38 atp of energy and this uh, anaerobic respiration provides us only 2 atp of energy is released only 2 atp of energy is released the end product of aerobic respiration is co2 and H2O. The end product of aerobic respiration is CO2 and H2O. But the end product of respi this uh, anaerobic respiration is CO2 ethyl alcohol. For the, you must have heard fermentation in yeast. When the fermentation takes place, then the formation of ethyl alcohol takes place in the absence of in the absence of oxygen and lactic acid lactic acid in muscles lactic acid takes place in muscles formation of lactic acid give rise to a muscular pain what it is known as muscle cramp when when our muscles start respiring in the absence of oxygen to fulfill the demand of energy or oxygen it happens so in that condition muscle starts respiring anaerobically and that is why lactic acid gets accumulated and start giving us pain so this was this was about aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration i'm sure that you can solve so many questions now there are some questions asked by the board that is respiration respiration and photosynthesis what is that? Respiration and photosynthesis. What happen in respiration and what happen in photosynthesis? Respiration is a catabolic reaction. It is a catabolism or catabolic reaction in which, in which food is broken and energy is released. But photosynthesis is anabolic 
anabolic reaction in which food is formed in which food is formed and energy is stored here food is broken energy is released here food is formed by the process of photosynthesis and energy is stored in the form of starch that you must be knowing then the raw material of respiration is what the raw material of respiration is glucose the raw material of respiration is it is glucose and oxygen raw material in the absence of oxygen glucose is broken and the raw material of uh, photosynthesis that is co2 water sunlight and chlorophyll so these are the raw materials of photosynthesis it releases during respiration during respiration co2 is released but during photosynthesis o2 is released what is released o2 is released this respiration occurs in mitochondria mitochondria and cytoplasm that we all are knowing so it occurs in cytoplasm and mitochondria but it occurs in chloroplast it occurs in chloroplast of the plant cells so this is uh, these all are the differences between respira respiration and photosynthesis now we need to know now we need to know how do plants respire we need to res uh, just revise how do plants respire see here uh, um, for the plants we can say that that there is no special there is no special uh, organ or system given in plants for respiration so the small plants or you can say micro plants they even respire throughout their body like spirogyra it is green in color and it can respire through its because it is thallus ha huh? stem root and uh, uh, leaves are not differentiated so they respire throughout their body some of the plants having wood woody stem woody stem means old bark is there so whenever cracks are there in the bark through those cracks also respiration done or lenticels also you can say and we all know the green plants lower part of the leaves have stomata through that also process of uh, this respiration done in plants so these all are the processes in plants for respiration now we need to know now we need to go for do you know there is a question it comes usually why do aquatic animals respire uh, fastly than any other organisms actually the presence of oxygen in water in the form of dissolved oxygen in water is in a very less quantity so to fulfill the demand of these oxygen in their cells they take water again and again mostly fishes they take water again and again absorbed by the gills oxygen is absorbed by the gills and then water is removed and this process is continue this process is continue this is what the reason that aquatic animals respire continuously and rapidly usually human beings respire in a minute 15 to 20 times 15 to 20 times but increases it increases 25 times means uh, it may go to 25 times when any vigorous exercise is taking place muscular exercises are taking place now let us talk about the system system consists nostril system consists this respiratory system organs are nostril nasal cavity nasal cavity then there is a pharynx then there is a larynx pharynx larynx then this larynx goes goes to trachea this trachea gets divided into bronchi and this bronchi becomes bronchioles bronchioles and then air sacs or or alveoli alveoli but from here from bronchi to this these all are found inside the lungs found inside the lungs so let us know about this nostril we know the part which is divided into two they are called nasal cavity through which air enters in our respiratory system this air may consist <coughs> dirt dust germs so these are trapped by the mucus and hairs present in your nostrils 
At the same time, you have ciliated epithelial muscles. Ciliated epithelial lining of ciliated epithelial muscles which are responsible for the maintaining of the temperature of the air. ये आपके एयर के टेम्परेचर को मेंटेन करता है अगर आपने गर्म हवा सांस में ली तो वो उसे कूल cool डाउन करता है और अगर आपने ठंडी हवा सांस में ली तो वो उसे थोड़ा वार्म करता है सो इट एक्ट जस्ट लाइक एन ए सी एयर कंडीशनर इट्स ओके सो नाउ एयर गोज टू नेजल कैविटी थ्रू नेजल कैविटी इट गोज टू फेरिंग्स आफ्टर नेजल कैविटी देर इज अस देर इज अ स्मॉल पैसेज विच लीड्स टू फेरिंग्स विच लीड्स टू लैनिंग्स एंड फेरिंग्स and this pharynx opens into this pharynx opens into oesophagus and trachea so how this is that i am making you understand this uh, pharynx where this pharynx part this pharynx part having when it opens into uh, trachea when it opens into trachea this part opening of that is known as glottis what it is known as glottis and this glottis is covered by epiglottis it is covered by epiglottis why so that it can prevent the entry of food in windpipe and it also prevents from choking ye entry of food ko rokta hai jisse ki hum choke na kar jaye ya hum hamare saans lene mein koi takleef na hone lage to isliye jaise hi hum bhojan andar ki taraf nikalte hain to glottis epiglottis jo hai wo glottis ko close kar deta hai this is about pharynx larynx is at the back of your neck region at the back of your neck region there is a two muscular uh, flip like structure very fine flip like structure which vibrates because of the air and creates sound so this larynx is responsible for the creating sound trachea this trachea is windpipe this pharynx and larynx leads to the trachea leads to the trachea through which air enters and the same trachea if i go through the structure of this lungs see this is what the trachea which is entering and this trachea is uh, covered by a cartilaginous ring and it prevents it from collapsing agar is trachea mein hawa na ho ye bada delicate hota hai tubeless structure hai agar isme hawa na ho to ye collapse kar sakta hai ise collapsing se bachane ke liye c shaped cartilaginous ring diya gaya hai this trachea gets divided into two parts it gets divided into two part that i have already made you understand aur yahi jo do part hai ye jo hai wo lungs mein ye lungs mein kya hota hai convert kar entry leta hai and this gets divided and subdivided into bronchioles it gets divided in and subdivided into bronchioles at the end of every bronchiole bunch of balloon like structure is there called alveoli ise hum kya kehte hain alveoli aur ye alveoli jo hai charo taraf se blood capillaries se ghira hua rehta hai surrounded by a fine network of blood capillaries through which process of diffusion takes place yahan pe process of diffusion hota hai exchange of gases so this is the site of exchange of gases in animals and human beings what is that alveoli and this alveoli enters inside the lungs now what is this lungs lungs are spongy two in number found inside the thoracic cavity protected by your rib cage and the the floor uh, floor part floor part of this lungs which is attached to its floor that floor is called diaphragm diaphragm it is known as and the cavity is called uh, thoracic cavity or chest cavity and it is it is covered by this lung lungs are covered by pleural membrane pleural membrane it is double layered structure filled with fluid and it what it does it increases the friction and protects us from external injuries it's okay this alveoli and the sponginess of this lungs and lots of alveoli and uh, air sacs and uh, bronchioles increases the surface area so that they can work more and more it's okay so this is about this is all about the uh, uh, respiratory system respiratory system this blood hemoglobin means o2 is brought by hemoglobin rbc through the uh, through the uh, carried by uh, rbc from lungs and co2 is released by lungs which is brought by the blood capillaries to the lungs by the process of diffusion you must be knowing what do we mean by diffusion it is a kind of uh, uh, movement of liquid and gas 
both from higher concentration level to the lower concentration level till it equalizes this is what called process of diffusion it's okay so i hope you people have understood it well and this revision if you go through you'll get lots of questions never forget once again i'm repeating never forget to write according to the marks given according to the marks given to know how to make your copy impressive please go through the video which i have uploaded how to make the copy impressive go in playlist you'll get all the video of class 10 thank you all of you thank you very much and wait for my next video of uh, circulatory system revision thank you once again